chapter uh, five. Okay, so we'll take uh, lesson five, chapter 13, lesson five, and then we will take the chapter review to uh, revise the whole uh, chapter. We have already revised uh, chapter 12. Okay, so uh, I'll share, uh, share it now with you. I'm just opening it to share it. It takes time, girls, but I'm sorry. It will open now. Here is it. Okay, we will go to page. I'll send you all the file after I finish to check all of your answers. Okay, here we stopped at, chapter, at lesson five and in lesson five, it's very easy. He said the use a comma to set off. Well, yes, no, first, second, Single word adjectives that begin a sentence. So yes, comma, I have visited our nation's capital. And we know this rule since we were kids, since you started to answer a question, yes, comma, or no, comma, and then you say the rest of the answer. Well, comma, it is one of the most beautiful citizens. It's, okay, first, second, exhaust, uh, first and second. So these are what these are. Uh, used as transitional words at the beginning of the paragraph or a sentence. Exhausted is uh, the participle, an adjective. It comes like the participial phrase, exhausted from work, we rested on the moon. So the, we cannot, uh, we can eliminate on the on the word of the works and say exhausted. So it's an adjective, a participle. We rested on the moon. So here, the first rule is to set comma to set of well, yes, no, first, second. Then use commas to separate the date and year. No comma is needed between the month and date. Month and date is okay of between the month and year. Okay, or between the month and year. So I separate what date, the date and the year. I separate date and year. No comma is needed to separate the month and date or between the month and year. So between month, who know? Between year, yes. So, so we arrive September 1, comma 199. Okay, and here we should add comma because we cannot put them directly, arrange them directly, it will be a number. We plan to leave on September 8th. So here I do not add comma between month. The last time we visited was April 8, 1989. Also, I didn't add comma. So I don't add comma after month with date or year. I add comma with, uh, with date and year. He knew that November 22 comma because here is a year comma. So usually year is separated by commas. Use commas to separate parts of or of a play as well in, as in the name of a person or place. For example, there's a comma between an act and a scene. In a play like uh, Romeo and Juliet, we have an act and inside this act there are scenes. A person's last name and a title that follows it. So let's see number one, act three, comma, scene four. Uh, so here, act is the, the act inside the place, scene four, and they write this to know which is which part they read, okay? And a per, uh, uh, we use a comma, a person's last name and a title that follows it, Martin Jordan, comma, junior. And here is the dot for abbreviation. Martin Jordan, comma, between a, ma a man's name and his title. A city and a state, uh, so it means that when I, want to say something and another thing we add the comma like venice in california 
a city and a state, no comma. Uh, here, and our title that follows it, we finish this. A city and a state, no comma is needed. However, between the state and the zip code, there should be comma. But here, Venice, comma, California. Okay. Syntax uh, uh, study. A New York, one, two, three, or six. This is a zip code. Okay. And a comma. State and the zip code. In the middle of a sentence, set these elements off with commas. These ten elements. Okay. We move to Venice, comma, California, comma. When I was a freshman. So here a comma between them. And go. Okay. Different converse, conventions apply to friendly letters and businesses because for letters, for formal letters, they have uh, specific rules. Okay. So they will be in, in uh, that we took before for uh, in, in, uh, in writing, chapter four. For example, friendly letters have no heading. Usually the writer gives only the date of the letter and no inside address. In a friendly letter, a comma, not a colon, follows the greeting. Okay, dear, uh, dear friend, comma. And the signature is always handwritten instead of typewritten, so it is okay. He says that the difference between a friendly letter and a formal uh, letter. The last two rules, use a comma after the greeting and the closing of a friendly letter here. Dear Alma, yours truly at the end, love at the end, sincerely at this at the end of the letter. We write this at the end of the letter and dear Alma at the beginning of the letter. So teacher, do we end the, the letter with a comma? Yes. Use a comma to set off a direct quotation. Okay, so use a comma to set off a direct quotation here. He said it exactly. When I say the words that Molly exactly said, but omit the commas with indirect quotation R. So quotation mark, this is a beautiful city, comma. Molly remarked. Why I added here a comma? Because this is a beautiful city, Molly said that. So I add comma. Molly remarked, and I put her what she has said in bet into between two marks. But here, Jamie added, comma, there is so much to do and see here. Here, here, Jamie added, he, he, he said, and here between two quotation, there is so much to do and see here. So here, they separated it, the sentences with commas. But if you come here, they didn't take exactly the words Jamie and Molly said. So they all said, they were glad they came. They said they were glad they came, but no one what, no one, they didn't bring exactly the words that have been said. The museums alone, uh huh, comma, said Mr. Tanak, comma, between quotation mark, because uh, here is what, this quotation mark is for that, not for said Mr. Tanaka, but so, and the comma is for the quote. The museum alone, comma, between two quotations, said Mr. Tsenaka, comma, uh -huh. to separate what to separate the code. So we separate the code from the one who uh, talked. Here is another tip. The origin of the word uh, bastion is the old French word for built bastion. It is the uh, city. Okay. Okay. And the one for the dates. Yes. You separate the year. No, if it came in the middle of the sentence, I'll also put a comma after the year. Yes, we separate here. Like like what did like here? Yes, here? they placed a comma after the year when it was in the middle of the sentence. Yes, here. Hmm? Yes. Okay. It, it is uh, the same scan as lesson has been scanned. Now uh, we'll start uh, answering. Please start solving 250. 250. I'll give you two minutes to think of it.
اوكي اسماء نمبر 1 اكسرسايز 8 نمبر 1 اسماء بلقيس بيان زينه يس مس نمبر 1 اه ريد ات اور سي ذا انسر يس تيل مي وير اي اد ذا كوم وي جون بوت ات افتر اكت 1 يس to separate the act and the scene. Excellent. Act one and after? Scene four. Yes. Yes, excellent. Number two, Dalia? Yes, miss. Yes, number two. Daniel, uh, word below. Let me add this our word history class. Uh, Where I add the comment? After PhD. Yes, after PhD and and before it too dear. Then yes, below comma PhD dot G. It is like this example to separate the here. Like this example. Look. Here. His name. Here. Okay. Uh, number three, uh, Dari, uh, the, yes, Dana, Well, Dana, Well, Dari, what we did, number two. Uh, comma after Swerdlow and after PH dot doctor, D, comma also. Number three, da, Dari, uh, Darin. Yes, miss. Dari. Uh, number four, miss. Three D. Okay. The year six eighty eight BC marked the introduction uh, of Pakistan. We are of, we are on page two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. Ah, uh, sorry, miss. Two hundred fifty. Okay, I'll come back to you after you solve. Uh, I opened, miss. Uh, you also you solved it. And. Uh, solve four till Dora solves uh, solves three. Dora. Okay. We solve answer three, Dora. Dora. Yes. Uh, their home is in Taos, uh, comma, yeah. comma, New Mexico. Excellent. Comma, New Mexico. Do I add a comma after New Mexico either? Uh, no. Yes, no, I do not add. It is at the end of the sentence. Number four, Darin. Yes, miss. No, I have never seen trust ginger plants in a re uh, rainforest. Mm, uh, I'll add comma after no. Excellent. Number five, Fatima. Fatima, Rada. Yes, miss. Five. Uh, the first moonwalk occurred on July 20, uh, comma, 1969. Yes, yes excellent. Uh, number six, Joanna. Jo yes. Okay. Joanna, are you here, dear? Okay, Jude. Yes, miss. Um, that is a sweet dog, comma, said Bobby. Yes. Um, we add a comma after dog. Yes, we add a comma after doc inside the quotation. Why inside the quotation? Uh, here, look. Here. To separate. To separate here. Inside the quotation. Here. Here, inside the quotation. But here, here, because, before, because I started with Jeremy, Jeremy added comma. Outside the quotation. Okay. So uh, we go to exercise nine. Exercise nine. Uh, Jumana. Yes, Miss. Yes. I put a comma after Evan. Uh, we are in exercise nine. Yes, excellent. After dear Evan. Excellent, dear. Excellent, Jumana. Lana. Yes, miss. Yes. 
uh, number two, right? Yes. I'm looking back at your letter dated July 10 and asking myself how I could have let so much time go by. Yes, and, and so a number, uh, she added after even. So uh, dear even, comma, and uh, in number two, there is nothing, but in number one, with, I forgot to tell you the answer. Oh, uh, sorry, I thought she saw number one. Uh, yeah. After well. After well, excellent. Yeah. So we go to number uh, three, uh, Layanne uh, Fadel. Layanne. Uh, teacher, yes, do we see the comma after myself? Well, uh, no, no, no. Dot. No. What is in after myself? Uh, how how I could have let so much time go by? No, dear. We keep it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Number uh, three, Leanne. Yes, miss. One reason was the trip our family took on August 12th to Phoenix, Arizona. We put it after Phoenix. Excellent. Four land, Maghrabi. Yes. Uh, first, we visited my great uncle, Met. We put the comma after first. Lean. Teacher, Lean in number, number what? In number two, after July, we put a comma. Number two? Before the number. Uh, where is July? No, we do not separate month. We separate dates and years. So we keep it? Yes. Okay, uh, we will answer what now? Uh, uh, five. Five, please. Uh, second, we traveled north to the Grand Canyon. Uh, after second. Excellent, dear. Liliane? Lilian? Yes, yes, no, no. Six? Yes, comma, it's, uh, I, uh, the commas after yes, yes. It, yes, comma commas after, after yes. Yes, yes Lina Yad? Lina Yad? Did you do uh, the comma after September 5? After what, dear? Five. We do not separate month. We separate dates and years. Yes, it's September 5, 2013. In which line, dear? I, I missed it. The first, the first thing. Uh, what is it? It's up in the corner. Up in it's the what? corner. Up in the corner. Ah, I can see it. I, yes, yes. We separate September 5, 2013. Yes, separate 5 from 2013. Excellent. Who said it? Reda? Who said yes. it? Excellent. Yes, yes. Thank you, dear. I didn't see it. Thank you. Okay, now we are in number... Uh, what? Lina Yad is not here. Lujain, which number? Uh, I think seven. Okay, seven. We even crossed over the border to visit Mesa Verde National Park near. What's that name? Durango, Colorado. This is is this a city? Yes. Yes. Which between them? Yes, excellent. Okay, number eight, Malakosi. Yes, miss. Tired but happy, we arrived home on August 22. Um, do we put one after happy? Excellent, tired but happy, adjectives, comma. Excellent, number nine, um, Maya. Maya? Yes, miss. Yes, dear. Yes, miss. How are you doing, Yemo? I'm good. Is your health okay, dear? Yes, yes, thank you, miss. Since I have been home, I have been busy getting ready for the soccer season. Mm, uh, there's uh, nothing annoying. Yes. Uh, or there is, no, there is, there is, but I didn't see. I thought that, that after since, but no. Since I've been home and comma, yes. Yeah. Since I've been home, comma, excellent, dear. 
Then we go to Najwa, 10. I will put comma after hard inside the quotations. Excellent, Anna. And, uh, and there is uh, another one. Uh, coach Clark, after coach. Yes, I have been. Hope all is well with you. Yes, yes, we put comma after her. Then Natalie, your pal, Enric. Natalie? I am Smith. Your pal. Your pal, Enric. Where do we add the comma? Uh, your pal Enric, do, where do we add the comma? Pal. Pal, after pal. Between yes. Your pal. Yes, after pal. Okay. Now, girls, we move to page 253. 253. Okay. We will uh, leave this to the end. We have time, we'll go back to solve it. Now we will start with 253. Okay, 253, I'll give you two minutes to think of it because it takes time, comments takes time, and then we start solving. Um, teacher, I need to ask you a question. Is it okay in the previous lesson? Uh, yes, dear. Um, teacher, we put comma between date and years, right? Yes, yes. So must, if we have like September 8, we don't like put a comma. Yes, we do not. Huh. Okay, but miss, in, in, the, in exercise 9, we have, um, oh, where is it? Yeah, we have after July 10. Do we like mm -hmm. remove the July? Uh, the comma I didn't. After July. I didn't see it. It's because my paper is is covered, so I it was not clear. Tell me again. Maybe I did. We skipped it. Number uh, what? Um, number one. No, number two. I mean, sorry. In the sentences or in exercise nine? In exercise nine. Ah oh, yes, two. yes, super. Yes, remove it. Ah uh, okay. Thank you. And uh, is there another one? Ah, that's why when you told me about asking myself, there is a comma after myself, also remove it. Uh, it's, not it's not clear in my version. Okay, also remove it, girls. In exercise nine. Okay, miss, thank you.
Okay, shall we start? We start by, uh, we stopped at, uh, it's, Anatoly was the last one to answer. So we start by note, note. Number one on page 253. Uh, did you hear the one about the ropes, Kibbet? Uh, question mark? Yes. Yes, excellent. Did you hear the one about the rope? Question mark. Skip it. Number two. Natalie, uh, Natalie answered. And, uh, Noor Bilal. Yes, miss. What month yes. has 28 days? January, February or March? Question mark. And after January, comma, February, comma. Excellent. And question mark. Then they all do dot. Excellent. Excellent, Noor. Number three, Noor Yusuf. Yes, miss. A father said, Johnny, go faster. I need to catch the train. Uh, Johnny said, comma. Yes. Uh, are you sure you're strong enough? A uh, dot inside the quotations. Again, again. All father said, comma. Then the quotation. When I talk to someone directly and I say, Noor. I add what? Can you please repeat? When I start talking to someone directly, and I say Noor, and at that time when I explained it, I said to you, Lujain, I add what after I, I talk to someone directly. Do you mean that we add like dot uh, outside the quotations? No, dear, no. The, the first could, the first mark, uh, uh, a comma is okay. A father said and comma. Then Johnny, Johnny, go faster. Where I add, do I add a comma here? After Johnny. I talk, I'm talking to someone directly, so when I, I address his name directly, I add a comma. Ah, yes, yes. So yes. another I, comma I was after actually Johnny. looking. Yes. And so Johnny, then, comma, go faster. I need to catch a train. Then Johnny said we're going to put a comma. Yes, after Johnny said again, there is a comma. And, and before I move to Johnny said, inside the quotation, Johnny, comma, go faster, comma. Right, because I said yes. when it when there are words uh, there are words after it, I add comma. So a father said comma Johnny comma go faster comma I need to catch a train. Dot. Then Johnny said comma Are you sure you strong enough? I add what at the end you said inside the quotation. Uh, a period. All right, dot. Are you sure you are strong enough? I add what in the quotation because the quotation is what a what. Oh, it's a question. Excellent. So when it's a question, I add the question mark. Right? Okay. Then we uh, go to Rama. Yes, ma'am. Rama number four. Mm, how do you keep a ranch ross? A rhinosaurus. Rhinosaurus, a bull, or an alligator from charging, take away its credit cards. Uh, after uh, rhinosaurus, we put a rhinosaurus. Oh. After a rhinosaurus, I add a comma. After what um, else? A rhinosaurus, bull, or alligator. So I add comma after rhinosaurus, and a comma after bull, and then okay. or alligator from charging. So what do I add after charging? Uh, comma. It's a question, dear. How do you keep a rhinosaurus, a bull, or an alligator from charging? Question mark. Question mark. Excellent. Dear. Then Rima. Rima number. Four, five. Unless you want to put a dot at the end of the sentence. The, there is a dot. Take away its credit card. There is no? Yes, we don't have one. No. So add a comma. Add, a, add the dot. Oh, sorry. Uh, number Teacher, five, what? Rima. No. Yeah. Yes, Najo. Use an exclamation mark or um, a dot when it's like imperative. Strong comma. When I say stop. 
Ah, go. Okay. And only one word. It's um. Or uh, stop talking. Strong, strong comment. Stop talking. Ah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rima, not here. Sara. What did the shark say to the ocean? Question marks. High tide. High tide. Girls, it's like a bun. <laughs> Such joke. How would he say to the ocean high tide? <laughs> yes. Uh, how, how do we add it, Tisa? Where do we add comes? I added only a question mark, a mark after uh, the ocean. Excellent. After the ocean. But what about high tide? A uh, high comma. Excellent. High comma. Excellent. So we go uh, then Zena. Is Zena our answer? Zena is here. Is she here? Asma? Bulqis? Yes, Miss Asma. Yes, Asma. Number? Uh, number six. Four, six. Number six, yes. I, if you're hiking on a hot day, uh, what should you take with you? Well, you should bring a uh, a thirst a thirst uh, acre. Um, we we will add a comma after day. Yes. Uh, and a question mark after you. Yes. Then exactly. a comma after when. Yes. And uh, a period after thirst acre. Excellent. At the end of the sentence, appear. Buthaina? Bulkis Bayan? Buthaina? Yes, Is it number seven? Yes, seven. Okay. What did Mason say to Dixon? We are, you know, comma, Dixon, comma. We've got to draw the line somewhere. Yes. So we're going Where to. Do, uh -huh. Where did you add the two commas, dear? You know, comma. Dixon, come on. Yes, so Dixon is here, you know, so uh, uh, when you, uh, it's in, uh, you talk directly, say the name of a person. Okay, Dixon, like I, so I told you, when I say Lujain, I have to add come. You know, Dixon, between two commas. Eight, Dahlia. Yes, yes. Yes, I am a mother's child, comma, and I am a mother's child, comma, but I am no one's son. I, I'm sorry, again, say it, uh, Daniel, raise your voice. I am a mother's child, comma, and I am a mother's child, comma, but I'm yes. no one. No one's son. Yes. Who am I? And then a question mark. It is, uh, can you answer it without knowing the answer? What? Can you answer it without knowing the answer? It's a bun. I am a father's child. I am a mother's child. But I'm no one's son. So she's a daughter. So I am a father's child, comma, and because combining here two independent clauses, and I am a mother's child. Comma, but another independent clause. I'm, I'm no in another independent clause. I'm no one's son. Then end it with a period. Who am I? And I end it with a question mark. Then number nine, uh, Dalia answered. We go to uh, Dana Wael. Dana Wael. Uh, Darien. Nine, Darien. Christmas. I have leaves, comma, but I'm not a tree, comma. Semicolon. Yes, yeah, semicolon. Combine two independent clauses. Yeah. I have pages, comma, but I'm not a king. Or queen. Comma or queen. Listen, listen, dear. Listen. I have leaves. It's independent clause. I am not a tree. Independent clause. Combined by but. So what do I add before but? Comma. Yes, comma. So there is a comma before but. Yeah. Then we go to the second one. I have I pages, have pages comma, but Excellent. I'm not a king or queen. queen. There is a comma between king or and or. No, or queen because they are two things. We do not separate them by commas. We only add or and that's it. 
Okay. Then we uh, have we, synapsin. I have a spine. I have a spine comma, but I'm not an animal. Yes. What am I question mark? Excellent. What am I? It's a book. Number uh, 10, Durra. Yes, uh, at Durra. night, comma, they appear without an invitation, uh, comma, and by day, uh, Miss, should I add a comma after by day? No, by day they disappear, no, I do not add. Okay, uh, uh, by day they disappear without a command, um, a period, then what are they? Uh, question mark. Excellent, excellent, Igor. Here is it, because it has uh, lots of commas and uh, questions. And it. Here is it. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Miss, and number no. three. Number what? Number three. Yes. Um, miss, will I, like, here it said, a father said, will I put the comma before the quotation or inside yes. the quotation? No, before the quotation. So, Miss, if I had a direct address, but it's in a quotation mark at the beginning of the quotation, I'm not going to put before it a comma. I'll consider oh, it as the beginning. The address here, Johnny, a, a comma. No, I'm saying before. Where is here the direct because address? Johnny. No, we added comma after Johnny. Johnny. Yes, yes, but I meant enough. It's in the middle of the sentence. We put one before it and one after it. But here, since it's in the beginning of quotation, I only put one after it, right? It's at the beginning of quotation, and quotation is, is, is alone. I, I, mean, I, I don't cons consider the word. I consider the word in the quotation is the first word, because it's the first word in the quotation. So I do not add comma to separate it. And usually I already have a comma before the whole quotation. Yes, thank you, Miss. So we go to exercise B. Miss, should we enter the second session? Oh, okay. Okay, take five minutes and uh, we meet there, girls. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Bye. Bye.